from NBC News World Headquarters in New York, this is NBC Nightly News, reported by Brian Williams. Maybe it's because Americans seem to love to want to share their suffering. Maybe it's because Americans are about $1.1 trillion in debt. That's Americans, not their government. Whatever the reason, a new game show designed around debt is on the air and catching fire. D-E-B-T, this has to be the show for me. Debt, debt, it's about time. Let's get our party started. D-E-B-T, plan that can set you free, leaving all your bills behind. The Arnold Schwarzenegger of the game show world is none other than Wheat Martindale. The buzz on the show is absolutely amazing. Check out the airwaves. The idea of getting out of debt appeals to a lot of people. I need to be a contestant. The new show is debt. The lifetime's highest rated show, incidentally, friends. Well, is developing a loyal following. A wide appeal to a very large audience. The response to the show has been overwhelming. Everybody's talking about this show. Debt. The reason the debt has really succeeded is because the concept of paying off people's bills is something nobody's ever seen before and everybody dreams about. In other words, they bring their real life debt to the show and they compete to wipe it out. Everybody we know is in debt. Our pop culture material is material that everybody is aware of. Just about anybody can play this game. Paying debt, paying debt, paying debt, paying debt. All three players are involved in the first round. And I'd call it a hip hop culture question answer round anyone can play. I'm the pie woman with a national restaurant chain and homemade cornbread mix. Barbara. You are Marie Callender. You have $500 taken off your debt. The two survivors of round one go on to round two, where it's not only what you know, it's how much you're willing to gamble. Christian, start the bidding. I can answer three questions. David. I can answer four. Christian. I'm going to try for five, David. I'm the liberating 1996 Jeff Goldblum flick where the White House gets blown up by aliens. Independence Day. That is correct. <laughs> when we get to round three, it's a speed round against the clock. And then when this happens on the show, you can almost hear a pin drop. I'm the London house where Queen Elizabeth lives. Uh, Buckingham Palace. Yes, I'm the Phil Hartman movie about a guy who won't leave. House guest. Yes, I'm the housing slang for prison. Uh, The Slammer. No, I'm David Mamet's 1987 movie starring Joe Mantegna. House of Games. Yes, I'm the federal agency known as HUD. Housing and urban development. You got it. You wiped out your debt. If the player wins, he or she has a choice of answering one question within the world of pop culture. You told us your specialty category in the world of pop culture was the TV show Twin Peaks. If the contestant chooses to go for it and answers that question correctly, we not only pay off their entire debt, but we also pay that amount to them in cash. The person has a chance to win or lose everything. When Laura Palmer was killed, the killer left a letter underneath her fingernail. I am the letter of the alphabet that was left. You are the letter R. Yes! <laughs> Wink Martindale has gone out there and done more publicity for this show. He has been on Regis and Kathy Lee, the NBC Nightly News. Day and date, extra, Oprah, Rolanda. And when Rolanda asked the audience how many people had seen dead, two-thirds of the audience watched the show. Wink's been everywhere. It's been a total blast. And you name it, Wink's pretty much done it. Without a doubt, the most fun moment for me and the one I get the biggest kick out of as a host. It happened about a month ago, and a guy came on at the top of the show, they say, how they got in debt. This guy got in debt because he was paying off his hairpiece. Cost a lot of money. It's a good one. He ended up winning the game. <laughs> And he got so excited, took that hairpiece off, throws it in the air, and proceeded to do a rain dance. <laughs> <laughs> it was the damnedest thing I'd ever crazy. Darn yeah. thing I'd ever seen. Darn it, yeah. Dead has become a big hit because it strikes home with so many people. Somebody help me, cause you know that I'm a dead, dead, dead. Dead, dead, dead. I'm ready. Everyone's talking about that. You're gonna love it. And we would certainly want you to watch The most popular quiz show in America. And the cable ace goes to... Debt. I just wanted to say thanks for the opportunity to do this uh, groundbreaking show called Debt. Thanks a lot. Don't do it. I'll jump. What gives? I'm in debt. Terrific. What's the strange part of the Atlantic where ships disappear? What? Five seconds. Bermuda Triangle? Yes, you're out of debt, lady. 
Double or nothing, who is the wild and crazy comedian? Drowning in a sea of bills? <laughs> then it's time to play Debt. The game show where three debt-laden Americans, just like you, compete to have us pay off all their bills and go home with nothing. <laughs> Payback time begins March 9th. You're out of debt, lady. On Debt. Let's get this party started. It's payback time. Here comes the game that pays off your bills. Cool. Keen. Perfect. Yes. Where pop culture smarts can pay off. You're out of debt, lady. <laughs> Just by playing around. Absolutely. Come on, come on, come on. Yes. The more you know. I'm the New York Woody who's made over 30 films. Alan. Yes. The less you owe. Hold it. It's payback time. If you like this, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more. And check out my Facebook page for other exciting content. You can play free games and win real prizes.